If Sauron can muster beasts alongside Uruks, his war machine will be unstoppable. I do not have time for another one of your hunts, Master Dwarf. Ah, but this is your hunt, Captain. There's a pack of war chiefs just arrived in Nurn. Call themselves Beastmasters. That does sound like my kind of prey. What do I need to know? I know you're familiar with the Kargors. I taught you everything you know about them. But let me tell you about their cousins from Torvin. What of the war chiefs? You didn't bring me here just to hunt another wild cat, did you? Just to hunt another. Pay attention, Captain. These Karagaths are a silent, stealthy breed from beyond Noorn. And they can sneak up on just about anything. And what's worse, this new beast tamer has been burning the brushlands to the north. He means to capture them and break their will. Twist them into Sauron's war machine. Every war chief is a scourge upon this land. Beastmaster or no, I will end them. Whoa, slow down. First thing we need to do is foil their plans. And I see no better way of doing that than using the very same Karagaths against this orcish scum. Show me how to find one of these creatures then. <laughs> Gladly, Captain. There's a Karagath hiding in those bushes. There it is. Go get it. Ah, this beast does look useful. It's a perfect killing machine. Oh, my God. 
Disarray, but there's still work to be done to ensure the Uruk never tamed the Karagaths. The war chief, the beast tamer. Aye, that unnatural fiend needs to be put down. To draw him out, use the Karagaths against his war camp. The more Uruk that die by their shadowy bite, the better. I will not let the Uryx exert mastery over these Karagaths. They are too dangerous. what cuts the mountain, they say. But after days of hacking through Uruk heavy plate and Karagor hide, these blades aren't going to sharpen themselves. Our weapons are extensions of ourselves and demand respect. A well-honed blade sharpened with a genuine dwarven whetstone can make the difference between being a hunter or the prey. My brother Gorvin once took a swing at a Karagor and his axe landed with a thud instead of a slide. He lived to tell the tale and has been sharpening his blade every night since then. There is little more satisfying than a sharp blade removing the head of an orc. I think the sight of a lone peak in the countryside would bring cheer to a dwarf's heart. But alas, that is not so here. Orodruin, the mountain of fire. 
This volcano stands alone on the plateau of Gorgoroth, but the whole of Mordor seems to dwell in its shadow. It's said Sauron chose this land for his domain because of that mountain. And I hope it suits him. Even dormant, anyone unlucky enough to travel these lands has that hill to thank for choking this acrid air, filling our lungs with ash and our hearts with dread. Mount. How long before it erupts once more and spreads its darkness over Mordor? on their feet and strong to boot, be wary. Their claws are sharper than steel, and I've seen them crush rock-hard orc skulls like eggs in their jaws. Even wargs and lions give them wide berth. One look at these beasts and you'll know why the pointy ears have named them Bringers of Fear. First the Karagors, now the Karagaths. How many ways has Mordor to kill a man? We need a lot more materials than we got. Gotta feed the war machine. Not! 
next time, you piece of shrock, you won't be so lucky. to be at the Udu now post again. Me neither. Too many slaves being transported. I'm gonna make dice out of your teeth. You don't threaten me. How do things I'll do to you?
You will all suffer for your deeds. Release me! I will reward you with power! Yes! Fighting Urukai, and among them, their vicious captains reign over the tribes and armies with ironclad fists. I've dodged more than one pack of foul Uruk on my hunt in these dire lands, and I've stolen glimpses of the right of ascension among these foul folk. Only the strongest and most devious lead, slaughtering their own kind until none stand to oppose them. Brutal, savage. Dangerous. And they don't smell very sweet either. Look how their flesh is easier to chew on. No doom keeps this dwarf from the grave. His first death will be his last, and his courage is impressive. against his war cow. The more Uruk that die by their shiny bite, the better. I hear the rain 
Beast Tamer is dead, and with him, the Uruk's control of the shadowy creatures. That slide masters at the moment. 